They didn't know how special it was. Yes. Um, I don't, they don't even know what their topic is today. So. Oh, you're kidding. No, our topic today is how to write an inky note. Well, you know, my column is read by 110 million people a day. And I'm, really, I'm not kidding when I tell you that there is one problem that I hear about every single day in my mail. And it's, it's like a joke. And it has to do with thank you notes. People don't write them. And when they don't write them, I invariably hear from the people who sent the gift, whether it be a birthday gift, or a wedding gift or a graduation gift, very upset because they don't know if the gift arrived or whether the gift wasn't what the person wanted, and they're really hurt. And so I guess about once or twice a year, I put something in the column from an irate somebody who's mad because they never heard about the gift that they sent. While letter writing may always be a chore to some people, there are occasions when the written message is the only means of communication. Not everyone can write letters that are literary masterpieces. But anyone can acknowledge a gift, a kind gesture, express sympathy, accept or decline an invitation. Those are the few basic things that people need to hear about. When Gina invited me to talk to you today, she asked me, please forgive me, but I did prepare some notes, to touch on thank you notes that servers could write to patrons who have hosted a party here at Lowry's. I have received these personal notes from staff, forgive me for saying this, at the Capitol Grill. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that speaking as a recipient, they are appreciated. My grandfather was extremely successful in wine and spirits wholesaling for many years. And he used to say that if somebody wants business, it is important to ask for it. The same is true when thanking people who give you business. One of the most common reasons that a thank you note isn't written is that many people don't know what to say. They think they will have to write a long, flowery composition, when in fact, shortened to the point is much more effective. Let me give you an example. Dear Mr. Smith, it was a pleasure serving you and your guests last night. It's always nice to see you, and your guests were delightful, which proves the truth of the saying, birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Lowry. That's it. Unless the patrons were drunk or nasty or suffering from low blood sugar, <laughs> there is always something nice you can find to say. Remember those little notes you're sending will make you stand out because few establishments practice this nicety. Lowry's has a proud three generation tradition of providing outstanding food, a warm welcome from the minute you enter the parking lot and wonderful service. That's why Lowry's has thrived when so many restaurants on this street have failed. You don't have to write an essay. Make it short, sweet, warm. If you do, your patrons will remember you. They will bring their business to you, and it will pay off in dividends. My thanks to you for giving me your attention and your time Today, since most people have a short attention span, just as short, <laughs> just as short speeches are appreciated, so are short thank you notes. Does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask? Oh, don't all rush. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we do. Um, we work for the offsite catering department, and we write a lot of thank you letters to our brides afterward. Yes. And generally, we're complimenting them on the total outcome. Is there anything else that we should be touching base on? That's very interesting. I 
think maybe it wouldn't hurt to tell them they were a pleasure to work with. <laughs> I wouldn't use the word bride still as I Thank you. Oh, and that they paid on time. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.